Uh, my name is Johnny Button. Some of you may know me already. Uh, I'm here in the studio today. We've got uh, an RK75 Elite Recording King Banjo. And uh, we're just going to check it out. This is brand new, fresh out of the case. And uh, we're going to check it out here and see if we can... Uh, uh, we're going to tear it down right down to the last nut and bolt and then see if we can make any uh, any tweaks here and there to get a better sound out of it. Sound out of the case isn't bad at all. It's a nice sounding banjo, but uh, I'm sure there's room for a little bit of Im improvement in the setup. So uh, I'm going to pick you a few bars of something just to demonstrate the sound as it is, as I say, straight out of the case, and then uh, we'll tear it down and uh, film that and put it together and hopefully uh, prove a point of getting it to sound a little bit better than it is now. <laughs> So, 
there's that. We can now fit this over. I'm not going to remove the tuners. There's no reason to actually remove them. They're not going to gain any tone or anything. Uh, needless to say, just check there. They're pretty tight in there. Sometimes a tuner nut can vibrate loose. I've had it uh, happen on tour. Um, so now we need to take the neck off, off the, the bottom of the, the banjo, off the pot. So you have, uh, these are called, called coordinator rods. Uh, basically there's a, a lag bolt that comes out of the neck, which we'll see in just a second, uh, which is threaded. These tubes then screw onto that to secure the neck, and then we have uh, three nuts here. This one is a uh, fairly light pressure just to uh, engage it with the rim. Actually, it's, it's only finger tight on this particular banjo, which uh, again would be another source of vibration uh, and obviously isn't secure in the neck 100%, so we'll, we'll rectify that when we rebuild. Uh, and then you have kind of a sandwich effect here. Basically, the, once this, this rod is as tight as you want it, just pull this one up against the rim so it's fairly snug, and then this one, or even use two wrenches and do it equal. You don't want either of the inside ones um, tightened against the rim too much because that will, in fact, actually distort the rim, uh, which will lead to bigger problems at a later date with fitting the flange and all that kind of stuff. Um, months, maybe even years down the line, but it will actually distort the rim. So what we're going to do here, we're going to loosen off this, this bottom nut and the inside one. Just make sure they're good. Give this one plenty of release on the thread because we're going to need to undo it from this end and pull it back. On this particular model it is actually threaded this end so we can avoid how much we have to actually pull it back. On other banjos that would just be a one piece coordinator rod with no thread um, and obviously less adjustment. Okay, make sure all your parts go together. Okay, I'm just gonna, this one here, as I say, is already finger tight anyway. So there's no big problem with that. And the coordinator rod itself is only finger tight against the neck. So in, in my opinion, that's uh, hampering uh, tone because it's not as solid a construction with the neck as it could be. Again, this is very loose. Um, I do like to tweak these up so it's a good firm joint. Uh, there's a lot of time and effort put into cutting the neck joint so it's a good joint with the pot. And it seems uh, rather silly to me to not have it uh, tweaked up nice and tight to enable that neck joint to be as secure as possible. Okay, so there's our second coordinator rod. Now our next is to pull out of the pot. A couple of washers just gone in there. So take note of those. Make sure we keep those. And now you've got your pot assembly. Neck will put over here. 